you are going to get to see a bunch of different colors and compare how we see them to how bass actually see them, a few underwater environments, and is, is there any difference? And most importantly, we're gonna talk about how does this affect our fishing, if at all? Well, we as humans have red, green, and blue cones in our vision. We can see those three colors really well and how they all blend together to make this color spectrum that we are used to. Well, bass only have two of those. They have the red and they have the green. They are missing the blue cone cells. Now, when we humans have this, when we're completely missing the blue vision, it is called tritinopia, or the absence of blue. Now, there are websites dedicated to color blindness, and they actually have tools on there that you can upload images and see what they look like and kind of filter and mess around with the eight different types of color blindness that were listed here. Now, I know that these sites were developed for human vision, but I think because they have the tritinopia filter on there that takes out the blue cones, the blue vision, that it's going to give us a pretty accurate representation of what these bass are actually seeing. And I've got the links for these sites down below, so you can go ahead and check them out and mess around with them as well. Let's start off with a bunch of different colors on these lipless crankbaits. I set them up here on the table, and as you can see, I've got a wide range of colors here, and this is how we see them. Now, here is the same image run through the Tritinopia filter, and probably the first thing that you notice is the red looks basically the same, and the brown in the lower left corner, it really kind of looks reddish as well. The gold actually looks more silver without the blue vision, and the lures with the chartreuse are now mostly white with a little bit of a greenish hue, and the purple is basically gone, and the gray-black basically looks the same. Now, when we put these lures underwater and look at them, the results are very similar. And probably the biggest difference here is that with the Tritinopia filter on, the brown actually looks more brown underwater than it did on the table. Now, speaking of chartreuse and white, here are two soft jerk baits out of the water on the table as you and I see them. And here's what they look like with the Tritinopia filter on, and both of them are completely white. And then underwater, the chartreuse lure on the bottom looks a little more muted, not quite as reflective and bright as the white one on top. Very interesting. And before we get on to black, blue, and green pumpkin, if you like this type of stuff, you like bass behavior, make sure you check out the bass behavior bundle link down below. It comes out March 15th. Great way to support the channel. Thanks so much. Now let's take a look at two of the most popular colors of all time, black, blue, and green pumpkin. Now here they are as we see them out of the water and then missing the blue portion of the vision. Now it's interesting to note here that the blue flake on the left looks green when simulating vision missing the blue cone cells. And the green pumpkin lure on the right really looks more like plain pumpkin, which is not at all what I expected since this Tritinopia filter still has the green cone cells active. It just shows what a difference trichromatic vision has with the blending of different colors, different vision, how, how we see them with a broader color spectrum. Underwater, the black blue looks very green and the green pumpkin almost looks translucent. Once again, not what I was expecting. Here's another group of colors to take a look at. I've got some stick baits laid out here in the table, white bubblegum, June bug, a purplish color, and then green pumpkin. And this is how we see them. Now, this is how they look when missing the blue cone cells. The bubblegum looks orangish, the purple stick worm looks greenish, and the June bug takes on more of a blackish pigmentation with green looking flake. And then when we drop them underwater, the June bug looks even more green than it did on the tabletop. Now, what about one of the best selling colors in recent history, Sexy Shad? Well, here's how we see it when laying on the table. And here's how it looks, missing the blue part of our vision. The chartreuse line takes on a little bit of a reddish tinge. And then here's how it looks underwater. Now let's go ahead and check out a couple different environments underwater and see do they look a whole lot different than what we would expect. 
We're gonna start out right here under a dock in the shade and the blacks, the shadows, they, they still look about the same, very black. But the biggest difference is the red tinge that we can see everywhere. If we look carefully back and forth between the full color and then the still image here without the blue cone cells, basically you can see where you've got some yellowish areas, yellowish green. That yellowish tinge has been replaced by that red. And then when we look at this bass in full sunshine, the same thing happens. The areas that had the definite yellow green look to them are now reddish. But this is where it really matters. How does this affect our fishing? And does it matter at all? Well, here's how I like to take a look at it. Let's take my favorite lure of all time, a bluegill colored swim jig. I think that this lure really matches sunfish pretty closely. And if you take a look at this sunfish right here under the water, then apply the filter that takes out the blue vision and put the swim jig next to it with that same filter on, they match pretty closely. So if matching the hatch, if matching the prey is really important to you, you're in good shape, you're going to be just fine. But if you like to use lures that stand out from the background, you like that high contrast, well, it's probably gonna be pretty hard to beat white and chartreuse, or based on this, should I say white and white. But the great X factor here is your individual confidence. If you have a ton of confidence in a certain color because you catch a lot of fish on it, well, some might say that is the most important factor by far. I really enjoyed making this video, and if you like this type of thing, why don't you go ahead and check out this one here that talks about bass and how they really act when there's changing conditions out there. I think you'll find it interesting, and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.